Hi passengers, I'm Roadside Resident. In this video, I'll share with you a tour of the SUV I used to live out of prior to buying my van life home in 2020. I lived out of an SUV from 2010 through 2017. The journey in the SUV ended in 2018 after it was stolen. I don't like how that ended. However, the metaphoric road enabled me to buy my SUV home brand new. Now, I will share with you a tour of the SUV I used to live out of. I hope you enjoy it. Let's take a look at the vehicle that I live in travel out of. This vehicle is an old junker vehicle. I bought it in 2010. It's a 93 vehicle. I'm getting a new vehicle soon, so I'm just not going to invest any more money in it. Now let's take a look in the back. Okay, here I am in the back of the SUV, and you can see that if I try to set up my head touches the roof. I don't like that. Typically when I'm back here, I do not go in and out of the back from the doors because after positioning everything back here, I don't want to go back and open the doors. So I just usually crawl from the front of the seat back here and just let that be enough. Can't really set my full body up too well. I mean, I kind of can, but when I do, my head is touching the roof. I'm hunching down more than I need to. That's just so I can get in the camera shot. I wouldn't be hunching that much. Like I said, I I really can put my full body up. It's just not that comfortable to, to set up back here. Passengers, back to present day for a moment. I'm so grateful I'm no longer in that SUV because even though in the rear, the seats folded, enabling me to lie my body down entirely, it was strenuous moving my body from the front to the back continuously every day. So moving out of the back, Although I'm a minimalist, I'm so glad to have my van life home so that I have more room for my body. All I do is sleep in the vehicle. So in the daytime, I'm out and about. I might be at a Wi-Fi spot or doing something to try to make my life better and trying to do something creative. So I'm always out and about. I might be out walking, taking care of my health, doing good things like that. All the things I gotta do to survive and hustle in this world. It's too hot to stay here in the daytime. It's getting pretty hot in here because it's daytime right now. The vehicle's retained a lot of the heat from out in about in the day. I mean, you can get plug things for your vehicle, but I'm not going to plug in my laptop and be in a prolonged time in this hot vehicle. So I only sleep in it at night and I go to a discreet spot. I tend to blend in with other vehicles. And that's what I tend to like to do is blend in where other vehicles are parked. This is so concealed because the fabric, this is the roof and this is the side. And you can see it's totally covered in fabric. Now the windows are tinted plus two layers of fabric. This curtain right here is totally concealed. It gives me a great deal of privacy when I put it up. You can see there's a little light that shines through and I could even work on bettering that if I really wanted to try hard enough to to get that pretty pretty close to being almost touching so there'd be no light visibility whatsoever. But even let's say there was a cop out there and they were snooping around to see if I was sleeping in the vehicle. It's so concealed back here with the tinting of the windows, the two layers of fabric. This is two layers of fabric right here. Not to mention the space of being this far back into the vehicle. Nobody would be able to see you. <laughs> It'd just be very hard for anybody to see. And I've done tests before where I've shined a light through the windows. I have confidence that I have a great deal of privacy when I'm back here and especially when this is up even if I had my special someone here we could be kissing on each other and making sweet love and I'd be secure that I think would be okay. The windows in the back are tinted and they are also concealed by two layers of fabric so you can tell that I have pretty much good privacy down here. I'll show you something nice in the back. I got some clips here and a clip there and that enables me to open up the back fabric area if I want to. There's a bar here and this fabric slides left to right to enable me to open it and close it. You can see a little part of the white bar there and it's just nice because it slides back and forth really easily. And it's better when I open it in the daytime when I'm driving, that way I have better visibility from the front looking out the rear view mirror. All right, you can see that back here I can lay my full body down. Where's the feet? If it gets too hot or too cold, you get on a couch surfing website or some sort of online social media website, your friend circle, your family circle, and you try to couch surf on the nights where it gets really hot or really cold. Or of course, if you have the money, go to a hotel on those nights. I usually have the windows closed at night. And then there's my backpack, which has my hygiene items in it that I take to the gym, obviously. My deodorant, shampoo, and mouthwash and all the rest of that. The backpack doesn't fall because there's a metal thing here that extends out of the backpack. It's one of those carrying 
luggage type handles. Then I put that behind this bar, a little hard to see the bar. Let me, if you could see that bar, you could see my hangers. The hangers can slide there. I believe that's a curtain rod that I got to secure up there. Getting curtain rods to secure up are very hard to do. So finally I found one that works that I got to secure up there. I hang my clothing hangers there and that's good for shirts like this. This shirt is getting baggy. I've lost a lot of weight in the last year, so I've got to get some new clothes. So the shirts that should be hung up, I get to kind of hang up, but they kind of do sometimes go down a little bit further and kind of at the bottom part of the shirt. It's not able to hang all the way from top to bottom. You may notice that I don't have a lot of clothes that are very visible. I used to have some shelves back here, and the shelves took up so much space that I got to feeling claustrophobic. And now that I took out those shelves, I especially have more room for a special someone to be back here and join me. I tried to make an impromptu shelf out of some wood from one of those home fix-up stores. It turns out that the wood has chemicals on it that they put to prevent the bugs from eating it, so I was in this back unventilated space with chemical wood, and it made me very sick, so lesson learned, don't put wood in unventilated space that you're sleeping next to in a closed space. My clothing are basically there under the backpack. Let me see if you can see the towel right there. There's the towel. Under the backpack is the shirts and the shorts. My pants are on me at the moment, so I just don't have that many clothes. I do my laundry once a week. My dirty laundry goes behind the seat, and it's very discreet. And the same goes for my laundry detergent. It hides behind the seat. It's supposedly the good type of detergent from one of those, you know, fancy people stores, so hopefully it's not chemicals by my head. That fuzzy thing is a blanket covering a shelf I have. You can see another one of those lights. You know, once I conceal that curtain, it's total privacy. So the back obviously looks so nice. Kind of sexy even a little bit, I think. I can imagine myself back there with my special someone, and it'd be nighttime, and we're camping somewhere under the stars, and having romance, and some soda water. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do any of those kind of things, so just some soda water, some romance, some love, companionship, I'd have it made. Now, I'm a gay man, so of course my companion would have to be another guy. If you are that other guy, or you know somebody who you think should date me, tell them to send me a message. But this isn't about dating, this is about showing off my vehicle but hey why not make it about dating i'm single this back window fabric i can get back there in that corner with those hook things and conceal and I have total privacy back here so i really do enjoy living this way now here's the cool thing right here above me that's where i can put my smartphone which has wi-fi access and therefore i can get online to various apps and websites and watch some of my favorite tv shows so that's pretty cool i've got that source of entertainment i enjoy that very much i put the headphones there too, connect it to my to the headphones, put them in my ears, and then I've got some great entertainment I can enjoy. It's just a really cool setup. The ironic thing is I want to get a new vehicle. Now, the back of this vehicle is the nicest it's ever been in all the years I've had this vehicle since 2010. So I'm really feeling emotional about, geez, I put all this work. And I put fabric on the top of the vehicle. Now, you may have noticed in the front of the vehicle, let, let me show you in the front of the vehicle. You can see there at the top, it's taped and it's just terrible interior fabric that over the years has gotten wear and tear. It used to look like that in the back of the SUV, but I put fabric all over the interior of all of the back of the SUV. I'm not going to do that up here because that's just more money to spend on a vehicle that I'm getting rid of anyway, so no need to do that. I want to show you how I put the fabric up behind me is by these metal clampy hooks. Let me show you what they look like. There's probably a better way to do that than I'm doing it, and sometimes that's a pain because you got to lift the clamp up and slip the fabric in upside, I, I mean from the bottom, and sometimes that can be a difficult thing to do. I've tried curtain rods, and I haven't had success with curtain rods except for the rod that I have hanging the hangers on, and I'm lucky enough that I got that one to stay up because I've tried different rod solutions before, and they were very difficult to get to stay up. This bed that I sleep on is a cushion. It's a mattress that I have, and let me tilt this camera a little bit more and see how that lifts up like that. Let me put it back down anyway. It actually folds in three. So if I want to, I can fold up that bed that I'm laying on into three and this SUV 
I think, let's see, it's got one, two, three seats right behind me, and then another two or three seats at the back. It's got a lot of seat space back there when all the seats are actually lifted up, but I don't do that very often. But let's say, you know, I had some friends and we wanted to go to the river, I would probably have to lift that up and put, get the seats up. I've done it a couple times where I had friends with me and I had to put the seats up, but that's just great that that bed folds in three. Otherwise, imagine if it didn't fold, that would be really hard to do. I just wouldn't be able to do it. I like that I have that space that I can claim if I ever want to. The air conditioning doesn't work, but the heater does, and there's no radio, no cassette player, no CD, no Bluetooth or any of that ability. There is a way that I've got a lighter pluggy thing here and it's got that adapter multi-adapter thing and then i have one of those speakers that are the usb type speakers so i've got that up here the wire goes along up there and then the wires go down there wires go down there and so the wires go to the usb that's my smartphone holder i love it because it rotates a lot i've got a light there they have a magnet on the back of them, so they stick up there. The light to turn light on the top. If I turn that light on and then I crawl to the back, I often forget that I've turned it on, so I hate that. But I could reach those lights up there easier from the back seat instead of having to be back there and try to put my arms that far and reach and turn it off. Those are much easier to reach. I got a basket and I put some double-sided tape on it and I keep that basket there as extra space for hygiene items and things to that effect. I got this thing. I think it was designed for cell phones, but I use it to put notepads and pens and different papers. I want to show you these things right here. These are mouse pads from one of those cheapo dollar type stores and I put them there that way when I put my elbow out I've got some elbow cushioning and I have one down by the knee area too when I hop in the back I always take off my shoes and I usually hide them especially sleeping at night under the seat I have both shoes and sandals the sandals I typically take into the gym with me when I'm showering so it's just easier to take the shower get my clothes dry off have the sandals then walk back to the SUV and then switch on to the pair of shoes I go walking a lot, so that's when I get into the shoes is when I'm out walking. Impromptu tape job that I do there, that's to keep it from getting too windy and noisy because this window is stuck and it can't go up and down with the controls on the inside. I had that disabled because it got stuck a while ago. Over here, I taped that because I had friends who would open up the back door here and that's where my head rests. So I have some things like my headphones and some tissues there, water bottle and that stuff would always just fall out when people open the door. That handle being taped like that indicates to people don't open this door. One nice thing I have is this heart-shaped rock that I found at the ocean beach and I fix that with double-sided tape. You can see this little teddy bear. I'm not really big into stuffed animals and having things like that around, but I keep the bear because it's always smiling at me and I was in a depression and I went to a pride event and there was that bear bright, yellow, happy, smiley, and I put it inside the vehicle so I could always see at least one smiling face in the world, even if it's an inanimate object, bear. The thing that's missing most of all from my vehicle is my passenger for life. I wish I had a companion here on this journey with me, road tripping, having great adventures together. I've been living out of my vehicle by choice since 2010. As you can see from the tour of living in this vehicle, it's just very simple. I like to keep my life simple, be a minimalist, it's just so easy to manage. I know other people who live out of vehicles and they pile a bunch of stuff in their vehicles. And look, you know, everything you can have, music, photos, movies, entertainment, it's all on your smartphone or it's all on the laptop these days. So why clutter your vehicle with things? I have very minimal clothes. Just what I need to get some new clothes because I've lost so much weight. They look baggy on me right now. You don't need that much stuff. Be a minimalist. Live as simplistically as you can. Got my hygiene items. I've got my deodorant and mouthwash in the backpack. I've got everything I need in the backpack, the shampoo, all that. There's just not that much stuff you need to be a happy, content person. Live minimalistly and living out of the vehicle. I save money. I don't have to to pay rent. I don't have to pay homeowner's insurance. I don't have to pay a trash bill. I don't have to pay a cable bill. I don't have to pay an internet bill except for my smartphone bill, which is the same thing. And the auto insurance, the fuel, and my food. Yeah, I do got to eat out, but I'm also economical and thrifty. I would have ate out anyway because I hate cooking. When I was in relationships, I would do all the other chores. I would clean the restroom. I would clean the house. I'd vacuum, do the dishes, but I hated cooking. I need 
a special somebody who can cook or we gotta go eat out. It's a very thrifty, economical, nice way to live. It works for me. But I'm out here enjoying my life, having a good time on my journey, so I love it. If you want to save money, you should live out of your vehicle, I think. Most of all, I enjoy the freedom of it. I enjoy being able to come and go where I want and travel and be on a journey and just go. And I love that freedom. I love that feeling. And you just can't really get that when you're in a house. Even people who are have RVs, but they still have a house. I see a lot of parked RVs. So why have one if you're not going to use it that much and go now? I don't want an RV. I want to upgrade to a van. Passengers, if you enjoyed this video, please share the link on your social media pages. I'm an independent with no budget for advertising. When you share the video, other people find my channel and videos. And I really appreciate that. At RoadsideResident.com, you can sign up for my email list. Here on this channel, remember to click subscribe or follow to ensure you never miss a new video. I'm Roadside Resident. Thank you for watching.